What is up? It's Jan back at it again with another Nerdy Bookish video featuring <laughs> Jesse, bestie Jesse, and we're twinning. Gross. It's not intentional, I swear. <laughs> what have we become? <laughs> it's literally gross, but I got ready first today. Anyway, happy Sapphicathon October edition and also a Lesson in Vengeance dedicated reading vlog edition. Cue intro. <laughs> Sure. Jesse's making the thummy for our impromptu live show. <laughs> that is their term, by the way. <laughs> it is currently 7.32 p.m. I am very, very late to this readathon because I had some circumstances to take care of, <laughs> to say the least. I did read a sapphic book today before the readathon started during my lunch break and my 15 minute break at work because I work nine to five, which is why this started at 6 p.m. But technically in your own time zones, which we just figured out this month. Okay, we're a mess, it's fine. I was reading Down Comes the Night at work work today and I'm on page 150. I've been trying to finish this since August Sapphicathon, but my main focus is a lesson in vengeance as stated earlier. And I'm buddy reading this with my lovely <laughs> co-hosts. Jesse and Tasman from Tea Books and Tasman. Also, Cammie's reading it. Cammie from Burroughs and Books. And then I think Christina from Christina's Chapters is reading it. Sharni from Sharni and Books is reading it. Everybody be reading this for the Full Moon Book Club and Sapphicathon. Y'all are amazing. I'm so excited and I just can't hide it. But I'm gonna- I wish you would. <laughs> I wish you would, they said. I'm about to order some pizza because I haven't eaten all day. All I've had today was a bagel, two M&M chocolate chip cookies, and coffee. And some tears <laughs> along the way, too. Not tears. So yeah, I'm gonna order me a barbecue sauce cheese pizza from Domino's and have a good old time. Are you looking at me? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Ew, not my forehead. Okay. All right. That is all. I'm going to make the thummy. <laughs> sending me a voice message right now. <laughs> we just started the sprint. <laughs> okay, it's currently 1.35 in the morning. Jesse and I sprinted on their channel until like 1, I think. And it was super fun and I got to page 100 exactly of A Lesson in Vengeance. Do y'all ever just like <laughs> go through all these tabs? Like, cause the colors you need just don't, just don't align, you know? I already need to find another pack with orange tabs because there are some gross parts in this. I think this is like 360 pages or something. 369, so 269 pages left. I got a shower, I'll wake myself up a little bit. I'm gonna try to get a couple hours of sleep, but I'm hoping the shower wakes me up so that I could read another like 50 pages, hopefully. But literally banking on finishing this before 6 p.m. tomorrow. We're gonna do sprints again tomorrow morning. I probably should go to sleep soon but i mean i had coffee during those sprints because i was literally like slurring my words kind of like i am now but like worse and i was like reading comments and just not making sense we laughed so hard at one point like we were so delirious my throat hurts from laughing i'm in my feels lately when i've just been alone at night doing nothing but reading i just like feel some type of way you know <laughs> the spine of this is gorgeous though like look at those flowers cute when i'm gonna shower i'll probably update tomorrow when i wake up going live in two minutes on my channel. It's like 11.30 now. I woke up at 8-ish. I slept at like 
3.30 and I'm on page 132 of A Lesson in Vengeance. I'm still really liking it, I just don't know where it's going. I don't really know what the objective of it is. I mean, I'm liking the vibes, I'm here for the vibes, I'm here for the literary references, and the characters are pretty cool, and there's some magic involved, there's tarot card magic involved, which I love. Well, you know, magic. But I'm wearing my new Hello Lovely box spooky crew neck that says more books, please. I'm in love with it. And then I'm wearing these earrings that Jesse got for me. Jesse's still not on the stream, so we'll see if they're gonna show up on time. But I am just like really mellowed out and kind of low energy, really low energy today. Maybe coffee would help. I'm eating pizza right now. Yeah, I'm just sadder than I thought I was. So yeah it sucks i have to go live in like 40 seconds so gotta push through gotta fake it till you make it <laughs> i'll talk to y'all later okay almost on page 200 and i'm still sprinting with jesse you can't even see them and sorry for my messy ass bedroom and that random box my sprints ended and then we had like a 30 minute break in between and then they invited me onto their patreon to do some more reading sprints i am honestly like my interest is very quickly diminishing for this book and that's so sad to say but i'm still like intrigued enough to keep going obviously i'm gonna finish it because it's my book club pick but the writing makes it quick enough for me not to want to put it down i guess is what i'm trying to say but the plot itself is just not doing it for me i don't know this one subscriber was right they went into it hoping for witchy vibes and like obviously same and that is definitely not the case i really enjoyed when they were talking about tarot and all the magic and like the history of like the witches and how they said that witchcraft is like a metaphor for female anger and grief like i love that quote and then it just turned into this like weird mission type of storyline and for what like i don't I don't get it. Hopefully it ends well and I'm glad I'm supporting a trans author by purchasing, well I got it as a gift but we still purchased it, you know? Purchasing and reading this book and talking about it on Instagram and on YouTube and everything so I feel good about that. It's fine. I haven't done much of anything besides take out my trash in that 30 minute break. Oh, I gotta show the vlog my Hello Lovely box items besides this one because I got two more things too and then I'm waiting for I think two more things to come in the mail. We'll do that later if I remember. If not, then tomorrow. But yeah, I'm gonna keep reading. Actually, the sprint's yeah, over, okay. so. Okay. Hey, y'all. I just had like a mental breakdown. For what? Oh my god, I messed up everything. <gasps> what is going on? So, Sapphicathon is officially over. It is 6.20. I was unable to finish a lesson in Vengeance, but I'm also very not surprised. But this vlog is not ending. I'm just ending Sapphicathon. <laughs> I'll probably end this vlog tomorrow when I finish a lesson in Vengeance. I just don't want to read it anymore. I got to page 246 and it's really freaking dumb. <laughs> like, I'm so bored. I think Jesse ended up giving it three and a half stars. I don't know if they changed it or not because they were still thinking it through when I asked but yeah I mean at no point was I like okay this is gonna be five stars maybe like when I first heard about it yeah and then when I heard other reviews about it I was like oof not as witchy as you thought juvenile mm, yeah so I think that kind of swayed my enjoyment as well but also like the main premise of it was just not what I was expecting and not what I'm here for I just don't care there's no point i don't even want to i don't know if it's a spoiler but basically they're on this mission to like recreate something right for this 17 year old's book and then there's also a side story about sorry jesse's still on stream so there's a side story about this potential ghost that's haunting our main character because they used to date and something happened so it does have the whole like is it a ghost is it not we don't know yet which i do love but also the fact that i read this right after white smoke it's just a lot of ya for me and i feel like the next book i'm gonna pick up definitely has to be an adult book because otherwise i'm just gonna like not want to pick up a ya book for the next couple months so those are my thoughts on that i'm just really not in a 
a great headspace right now so i think i'm just gonna take a few hours off of vlogging maybe i'll update later on maybe throw in some b-roll but i'll probably like get up and try to pack some stuff put some laundry away get a little bit of my shit together you know but sapphic found was so much fun i love how we went live on both days both of our channels thank you to tasman for hosting with us i'm sad that we didn't get to sprint together but I'm glad sapphicathon brought us together <laughs> I literally forgot I was vlogging. I didn't vlog at all yesterday. I didn't read at all yesterday. I read zero pages. I had to help a friend with emotional things. I had a day off, so I was packing and I got my nails done and my brows done. Yesterday was just chaotic. I, yeah, I didn't read a single page. Now it's 5.50. And I totally forgot that I'm still filming this A Lesson in Vengeance dedicated reading vlog. Totally thought in my head that like I already ended it because Safkathon's over. I'm dumb. I'm about to read on my balcony while the sun is still kind of out. Now I'm eating some Count Chocula. I just want to share. I got my copy of Uzumaki that I put on hold. I read volume one. So this is a bind up of all three volumes. I'm going to read this as soon as I finish A Lesson in Vengeance. I have about 100 pages left. Yesterday I just did not feel like picking it up because it's boring. Where is that book? Am I stupid? I literally just had it in my hands. So my supervisor left this in my mailbox at work and it's The Historian by Elizabeth Kostova. I've heard such good things about this book. Pretty sure it's vampy and I wish I could read it for Vampathon, but that is not happening, y'all. It was so sweet of her to surprise me with this this morning. I'm excited about that. <sighs> okay, let's go read on my balcony. I think about New York. I think about both your Crazy blue eyes I think about Manhattan I don't know what happened But I miss those times Holding my hands on the subway So I wouldn't fall still down I'd go And you'd pick me up Whether on those trains Or when I felt low Running through streets like taxi cabs I didn't know how good we had everything with us Just know I miss it bad, I hope you Think of me when you walk down Broadway Hear me singing when you hear street bands play Hope you think of me when you go back to the city Hope you see me at the Soho Downer Can't sleep when you pull no matter Hope you think of me when you go back to the city Sorry for all the outdoor noises, but I am once again cutting it really close to my live show, but not as close as usual. <laughs> I have like 30 pages left of A Lesson in Vengeance and it's like three hours before my live show. So not bad, not bad. I know Renee's not liking it either, so I'm glad we're on the same page. Excited to roast it with her because I know she has a day off today. I almost wanted to like ask to stream with her. I've read the last few pages together, but I'm going to save those discussions for the live show. But anyway, I'm just sitting, literally sitting on my balcony. Like I was, could not be bothered to put my chair and stuff out here. Today I just went to work and then I was watching some of my friend McKay's videos while I did some freelance work when I got home and then I'm just gonna keep packing and hopefully I hit the gym at some point today because I haven't for like three days now I think maybe four even and yeah so I will catch y'all when I finish this damn book kisses on the river from gold to silver now it's just in gray Sneaking away into rooftop skies Drunken songs of you and I It's nothing at all It breaks my heart asking why When we put city lights to shame Lit up streets with both our names <sighs> Okay y'all, let's talk. <laughs> Let me set y'all down. Let me hold the book for dramatic effect. Excuse my empty rack of 
what used to be my blue books. <laughs> I think I'm gonna give it two stars. I really hope next month is better. Oh my freaking god. This was so highly anticipated for me. The cover is everything. I've been looking forward to this book for months. <laughs> this should be called A Lesson in Irony. <laughs> Also, why is the the epilogue the ending to season one of you? <laughs> oh my god, like, I don't know. I feel like some parts of this book, like, you could clearly see where the author took inspo from. I don't know if I like that or hate that, but it's just... <laughs> I don't even know i will say it does have some really good lines whether that be like the vibes of dark academia you know being at the library and talking about books and being a reader like things like that yes it has good writing in that sense it also has some good writing about like magic and how it doesn't actually have to be magic to be considered magic you know like it's just how you interpret the world and how you apply it to your own life sure cool got it <laughs> Everything else though, I just found to be such a waste of time. I feel so bad, I feel so bad. The characters were just not it. The plot was even more not it. I actually liked some of the sass that the characters gave, but plot was not giving anything. I just don't understand why that is the route that this book took. I kind of, I understand the overall message, I guess, for lack of a better word right now. All I could think of is irony and like neon capital letters. Like, a lot of it, you definitely have to suspend your disbelief and you have to try really hard. <laughs> and it got so juvenile at times. There was one pretty well-written steamy scene. I'll give that one to this book. Wow, I can't wait to discuss this with Renee. I don't even know what to say anymore, but my camera is dying, so yeah, two stars, yikes. <laughs> if you made it to the end of this video, put the spider web emoji down below because there's a bunch of them on the cover of A Lesson in Vengeance. I can't be bothered to grab the dust jacket, but just trust me, okay? Hope y'all enjoyed the sapphicathon combined with my dedicated reading vlog. vlog. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching it. Hope y'all had a great day. Stay safe and stay positive always, and I'll see y'all in my next one. Bye!